Hey everybody, it's Dirk with Remodel AI. One of the interesting things we've seen recently is that people are restoring or refinishing furniture and they're using the app to help them visualize the possibilities. Now this is interesting to me because this is something my girlfriend actually does and she's always asking me questions. What do you think if I painted this blue or painted the legs black? And I of course have no opinion on most of those things. I'm completely useless, but the app can help us visualize those different things. And so I'm going to show how we can use the app to help restore furniture. I'm going to basically use two tools to do that. I'm going to use Interior Remodel and the Reskin Replace tool. This one's a little fancier. I'm going to show how to use it first um, before we jump into an example of refinishing a piece of furniture. I'm going to load a sample photo. And we can, I mean, I'll use a photo of something with some furniture in it. Uh, but first I just want to show you how the thing works. Uh, so first thing you do is you're going to paint the area of the photo you wish to replace. Um, now I'm going to replace this couch with something. Um, you do not have to really paint the mask perfectly, but I am being careful to get all the shadows and stuff because if the model sees the shadows and it tries to replace the couch, it's going to be very confused because it knows something needs to be there. So you don't need to be super accurate with the mask, but be careful to get all the shadows and things like that. Um, and then just click next. And this step, we just describe what we want to replace that area of the photo with. Uh, now there's two modes. There's reskin mode and replace mode. Reskin mode essentially is going to replace it, but keep the 3D structure or try to keep the 3D structure of what was there. So if we say reskin, essentially it's going to put another couch there that's this shape more or less, uh, but it's going to try to match the prompt. Uh, which you can say something completely different. Replace mode is just you're going to replace that area with anything. Uh, so let me show reskin first and let's say a black leather couch. And here you can see it's produced a black leather couch that matches the same 3D structure that the original couch was. Um, but the more you look at this photo, the more impressive it is um, because it's not just painted the couch black. Um, it's actually gotten the black leather texture correct, the reflections and so on. And again, it produces four different images. So you can scroll through the different results or you can hit, hit generate for four new results. Um, you know, this one, it's kind of put some wrinkles on this cushion. Uh, but again, they all match exactly. So essentially, it's reskinned the existing couch in a couple different ways. This one has wood legs, this one has black legs, and so on. Um, but they all match the original couch. And that's the reskin. Uh, replace essentially will replace that area with anything, uh, but it doesn't match the same 3D structure. So you can remove things. So let's just try to remove the couch entirely. Um, you could just put nothing and it might remove it, but I'm going to try to give it some guidance. Uh, white floor, white bricks, uh, empty room. And here you can see it's done effectively just that. It's removed the couch. All four of them look pretty good. Um, don't be afraid to experiment. Sometimes it doesn't just work on the first time. Sometimes it puts all sorts of weird things here. Um, so try different masks, try different prompts down here. Uh, but you know, again, this is pretty impressive the more you look at it because it's matched the floor pattern and the brick pattern of the things that it couldn't see. So it knows the brick pattern based on what's up here. It just kind of fills it in. It's also tried to keep the shadowing consistent because there was a shadow over here in the original photo. So it's kind of tried to carry that through and make it all consistent and keep the baseboard correct and so on. Um, so pretty good job. Uh, but we don't have to just remove photos. We can literally replace it with anything. Um, a kid's toy car. You know, you can put long prompts, all sorts of nonsensical things, but let's just try something that's a little different. Well, it does a pretty good job. Um, that's a pretty decent, those are actually all pretty good. And that one's a little weird and it has a little extra plastic there. Um, but pretty good toy cars, considering I gave no guidance. I just said a child's toy car. Um, and again, it's filled in the areas where the couch was and gotten the shadowing and all those things correct. Um, so pretty powerful tool. Um, just a couple different modes, reskin and replace, you can accomplish a lot. So let's jump back now and say, we bought a piece of furniture and we want to restore it. Um, I actually downloaded a picture of a piece of furniture. And 
this isn't bad, um, but it could use a little love and we could try a couple different things to make it look better. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually, I forgot to remove the price tag and I'm gonna replace this missing hardware. I'm not even gonna bother giving it a prompt. It's probably gonna get it correct uh, with no guidance because if you ask a human to replace those areas in a photo, it's essentially gonna give it hardware and remove the price tag. Uh, let's see what the AI does. As I suspected, it did a pretty decent job um, because it's going to match the existing hardware. and You know, it doesn't know there's a price tag there, so it's going to fill it in with wood. Um, so at this point, let's actually try completely remodeling or restoring this furniture in a different style. Um, I'm going to save it. I could jump back to home and just reload the photo, um, but I'm actually going to jump straight to interior remodel, uh, the other tool. So you can jump straight to it without having to save it and reload the photo. So now we see our new one with no price tag and the fixed hardware. Um, but instead of saying this is, you know, I want to see a modern style living room, this is just a picture of a piece of furniture. It's not really a room. So we're just going to go up here to custom. Um, instead of saying something like that, we're just going to describe what we want to see. Again, you can get real creative here. I'm just going to do something simple just to show you what it can do. And here you can see it's given us a dresser that's more or less the same as the original, um, but refinished in different styles that's Art Deco and Off-White. Um, and again, you can get real creative here. You can hit Generate again for a bunch more. Um, I don't really like the first one. The handles are all messed up. I do like this one, um, including the kind of cool off-center. Um, I don't love the hardware. I don't love the gold hardware. So let's say I like this one. Um, save and again you can you know keep hitting generate to see kind of what you like and the different options and change the prompt and spend a lot of time on this step um, but I'm gonna move on just so I can show you some of the other things you can do because now let's say we wanted to well this is a little bit too much white um, I wanna jump back and replace a couple of the drawers maybe paint them navy blue or something like that so let's see if we can replace these center drawers with a different color Now I haven't done a perfect job with the masking, uh, but it's good enough. You can let the AI do the work, or you can spend a lot of time getting a perfect mask. It's not really necessary though. So we're gonna reskin what was there, and we're gonna reskin it with navy blue drawers. And here you can see it's done an okay job. I don't love the wallpapery kind of texture that it gave it. Um, so I would probably do something like flat paint so we can get rid of the kind of wallpaper effect. And I like those a lot more. Um, that one's really good. And again, you could play with this forever. I'd probably go with a lighter blue, just describe light navy blue down here and things like that. But as an example of just how this tool can help you visualize different things. So, you know, you could also paint the top here, maybe paint the bottom down here blue, or half of this drawer on the slanted part that I really do like. Uh, great tool. So one last thing you can do, I'd save that, and then you can also upscale the image, which just changes it to a higher resolution, gives it a little more detail and then save that as well. So let me jump out to the photo app and you can just see our progression. Actually, we started with this and we removed the price tag and the hardware, or fixed the hardware, and we have that. And then we did this Art Deco finish and then we painted these cabinets blue and then we upscaled to the final photo. So, Give it a try, play with it, use it as a tool to help you visualize the different possibilities if you're refinishing or remodeling furniture and give us some feedback. Thank you.